Chapter 2, Lesson 6, Sales Tax, Tips, and Markups. You will be able to solve problems involving sales tax tips and markup. Sales tax is an additional amount of money charged on, an item, on items that people buy. The total cost of an item is the regular price plus the sales tax. Solve the following problems using the percent equation. In fact, we are going to use the percent proportion instead of the percent equation just to make things a little bit more easy. I'm going to also show you two different ways to do this. Letter A. Drew wants to buy exercise equipment that costs $140 and the sales tax is 5.75%. What is the total cost of the equipment? So we are going to set up a proportion. 100 being the denominator, one of the denominators. Our percent goes above 100, one always. It's okay that you have a decimal for now. The equipment costs $140, that is our whole amount, our regular price, and our variable up top. Cross multiply, and again, you're going to want a calculator. So 100 times x equals 140 times 5.75 is 805. Divide by 100. X equals 805. Now this is the tax. What you do is you take your whole amount of $140 plus the $8.05 in tax. And what you get is $148.05, which is your total price. Now, I'm going to show you a little bit different of a way. We're still going to use our proportion over 100. In fact, 140 is also still going to go here. Now, in the first part, we added at the very end. But in this next example, or this different method, we're going to add in the beginning. Now, tax is added to the price. So your price is always 100%, okay? So 140 is 100%. We want a 5% tax, 5.75% tax. So what we can really do is say what's 100% plus 5.75? It's 105.75. So that amount will go on your 100, 105.75, and your variable is still in the same place. Now cross multiply, 100x equals, let's pull that calculator up, 140 times 105.75. 75 equals 14805. Divide by 100 on both sides, and you get an amount of $148.05, which should look familiar because it's the same answer. So again, you can add at the very end, which is sometimes a little bit easier for us to think about, or you can add the percents in the beginning. And this is any time you're using sales tax um, or a tip or anything like that. Markups. Okay. Letter B. I'm going to continue using the first method as um, I'm sure it's probably the method most of you would prefer. Letter B, what is the total cost of a sweatshirt if the regular price is 42 and the sales tax is five and a half? Change that to a decimal. 
you should know that five and a half is really 5.5. Okay. All right. So we have X over our total cost of 42 equals 5.5 over 100. Cross multiply. 100 X equals, and go ahead and do 42 times 5.5. And you would get 231. Divide by 100. X equals $2.31. And this is the tax. So you take your total amount of $42 and add $2.31. So you get a total price with tax as $44.31. Letter C. Find the total cost to the nearest cent of a notebook that costs $2.95 with 5% tax. So the cost is $2.95. That's our whole amount. Our percent is 5 over 100, which means we're finding the part. Cross multiply. 100x equals 295 times 5 is 1475. Divide by 100. And you would get x equals 0.147. Five, and that's the tax. Do not round until the very end. So we are taking a notebook that costs two ninety five and adding zero point one four seven five. We will worry about rounding at the end. We are rounding to the nearest cent, which would be this number here. Find your place, look next door, five or greater, add one more. Nine plus one is ten. So three dollars, ten cents is our total cost. Letter D. Find the total cost to the nearest cent of a computer that costs $1,500 with 7% tax. $1,500 is the total cost before tax. 7 is a percent, so it goes over 100, which means the part is what we are finding. Cross multiply. 100x equals 1,500 times 7 is 10,500. Divide by 100, we get x equals $105, and this is the tax. You take your price of $1,500 plus $105, you get $1,605. It says to round to the nearest cent, so we're just going to put our two zeros after that. Now let's talk about tips. A tip, or gratuity, is a small amount of money in return for a service. The total price is the regular price of the service plus the tip. We see this a lot at restaurants, and they will put a tip line or a gratuity line. Okay. A customer wants to tip 15% on a restaurant bill that is $35. What will the total bill be with each tip? or with tip. Okay, so the bill is $35, that's the total amount. Okay, and our percent is 15, and we put it over 100. Cross multiply, 100x equals 35 times 15 is 525. 
divide by 100. X equals 525. And this is a tip. Take your amount of your bill. Add the tip. And you get a total amount of $40.25. Letter B. A haircut costs $20. Sales tax is $4.75. Is $25 sufficient to cover the haircut with tax and a 15% tip? So sales tax adds to the regular price as well as tip. So we can actually work this into one proportion. We can take our 15% tip and add it to our 4.75% tax to get a total percent of 19.75% and that's a total percentage that will be added to our bill. So we have an unknown amount out of 20 equals 19.75 over 100. Now you could have set up two different proportions. You could have set up one with 4.75 and another one with 15 and x over 20 remaining the same and then added all of those amounts together. But by adding the percents together first, we eliminate that extra proportion that we have to solve. So cross multiply, we get 100x equals 395 divide by 100 x equals 395. So we have a $20 haircut plus $3.95, which is both tax and tip. And we get a total cost of $23.95. Now, the question doesn't ask how much. It's asking, is $25 sufficient to cover the haircut with tax and tip? So if it costs $23.95 and we have $25, do we have enough? Yes. And we can say because the total cost is less than $25. Looks like my pen is spazzing out a bit. Yes, because the total cost is less than $25. Markups. A store sells items for more than it pays for those items. That's how they make money. The amount of increase is called the markup. The selling price is the amount the customer pays for an item. So in other words, if a company buys a video game, let's say it costs them $10, but they're selling it for $60, they have marked it up from $10 to $60, which means they're making $50 on it. They're profiting 50 bucks. Okay. Now, that was just a random amount. Not quite sure how much the markup is on video games. So let's take a look at an example. A store pays $56 for a GPS navigation system. So the store pays that amount. The markup is 25%. So we are marking it up. We still set it up the same way. We are finding the part of $56 and that part is 25 percent. 
cross multiply. Divide by 100 on both sides. And we get x equals $14. And this is a markup. So now you take that $56, add 14. So they would sell that GPS unit to you for $70. They paid $56 from the company. They're charging you $70. That means their profit or their markup is $14. Letter B. A store pays $150 for a portable basketball backboard, and the markup is 40%. What is the selling price? So we have our part over a whole, whole amount of 150 equals 40% over 100. Cross multiply, 100x equals 6,000. Divide by 100. X equals $60, and this is a markup. Take your $150 cost, add the $60 markup, and they're going to sell it to you at a selling price of $210.